What's going on guys? Today's going to be a how-to video for the Defender. Um, I'm going to do a how-to video on how I ran up my uh, vent lines for my fuel tank and the front differential and the rear differential. Getting those up in the air um, away from any dirt and mud, water, anything like that. So uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what we did, kind of explain everything. And uh, we'll go from there. Hope you guys find this helpful. All right, guys. For those of you that don't know, um, I've had a lot of time uh, invested in doing Hondas. And that's caused me to ride deep. Uh, a lot of Florida and Georgia has a lot of water anyways. Um, but I've really kind of learned about running vent lines. I want to run them clean on this thing. I take a lot of pride in it. Keep it nice. Uh, replacing stuff as it wears or breaks, what have you. Uh, but anyways, on the front differential, the last couple rides where I've, where I've had it deep up to the hood or almost to the hood, I've noticed a little bit of water in my diffs and I check my axle seal and they actually look okay. Uh, but the one time that I went deep, I think I got it in my vent line. So I wanted to check that, see where it was. I've never taken it apart before. And what I found was through some research, your front differential vent on an XMR. Uh, if you don't have an XMR and you don't even have vent lines, uh, you may want to kind of follow this and do it the way that an XMR would do it. Um, but what you have to do is take off your front driver's side fender. There's a plastic push pin here. There's a plastic push pin here. And then on this side of the cover, there's a screw here for your fender flare. Um, or maybe just if you don't have an XMR, uh, just a, a screw holding this plastic on right here but it would be on the back side and then um, maybe another screw on the back side again if you don't have an xmr i'm not sure how they do it uh, without a fender flare so maybe you guys can tell me that anyhow on your factory cage you should have a um, hole up through the cage that you could run a quarter inch hose through this is just quarter inch vent line tubing um, clear tubing that I got from the hardware store. I was able to run this tubing, push it up all the way up to the top of my roof. Uh, that way I'm under long before it ever gets under. So it's all the way up there in the roof. Uh, just push it through. After you push it through, uh, the Defender, at least the XMR version again, has these little uh, brackets that'll hold a zip tie. So I'll be able to zip tie this nice and neat. And then just follow it back down behind this uh, front case. You could even take this off uh, to make it a little bit easier if you want to. Uh, and you can't maneuver it the way that you want to down to the front diff. Uh, you could always take this off with a couple bolts and screws. Pretty easy also. And then run down here. And I'll try to move the phone. And that's where it goes on your front diff. So you're just going to extend this line. Follow it wherever it goes. Pull it out. And then after you pull it out you can rerun it with this one okay and that'll get your front differential out of the mud out of the water all right the rest of them are going to be in the back uh, first thing i'll do sorry about that is show you my custom snorkel risers for an xmr uh, all i basically did was buy three inch uh, intercooler piping painted it black and uh, raised the factory xmr snorkel tips up uh, there'd been a couple times i've been over the bed in this thing when it was on the four inch portals and the cvt exhaust has a little breather spot that's came very close to getting water in it so i just decided to run it all the way up uh, that way it's just kind of a fail safe i know it'll never be that deep so we mounted those up uh, 11 inch piping uh, to also make it work you're going to have to have two couplers for the cvt exhaust side those are three inch couplers for the CVT exhaust. So I just ran those up. Now the vent lines that you see is for the fuel and for the rear transaxle. I'm going to have to pop this bed up again. All right, so that goes up. And we have three vent lines back here uh, that's important to run up. Uh, the first one is going to be your rear uh, transaxle comes right here off the top of the transmission and you basically just run it all the way up to wherever your rear snorkels are on an xmr it goes all the way up there uh, so you can see it i ran it all the way up to the roof uh, i used quarter inch fuel line and then just a hose clamp 
on the factory XMR uh, fuel vents, there's like a pressure line and a vent line. I don't know, it's weird the way they do it. Uh, but basically, they come up to this point right here. Um, kind of like factory little spot for it or whatever. I've been over this already, so I knew that that could potentially be trouble. So I, re I cut the line, replaced it, and I ran the lines that come up to there right off of this. Um, this T right here off of the fuel pump and run it up. And I ran it all the way up same. Haven't had any other issues with anything. Fuel and keeping water out of the diffs is my biggest concern. Uh, everything else on the motor has been sealed. It's something you can check, but... Um, for the most part, it doesn't have a vent like that open to atmosphere, so you're good there. And as long as your snorkel and stuff is sealed, everything is good. But uh, following the factory XMR stuff and just extending it up really made it nice and easy to uh, get everything out of the mud and water. If you got any questions or uh, something that you need help with on this uh, relating to this video, just comment down below and uh, I'll try to help you you know answer any questions if i can as that's pretty much it for this video uh just wanted to do a quick vent line video and uh show you guys what i had going on here we're getting ready to ride for warrior creek this weekend so you're gonna see a, a riding video hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, it was helpful to you in some way if you learned something give me a like mm -hmm.